to step outside and seize the day now. Set aside your worries, it's so hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So if you hear a little bit of an echo, it's because I'm standing in my master bathroom right now. And this is one area of our house that I have kind of let go or not really done anything with since we moved into this house, which was not very long ago, which you guys know if you've been around for a while. And so I have been really itching to tackle organizing underneath of our sink in our master bathroom it just needs some better solutions for what we're storing under there and um, I have not decorated our bathroom at all yet so that's in the works and that'll be something I'm sure I'll show you in a vlog sometime soon but for the moment tackling the cupboards underneath of the sink was most important everything that I got to do this project is from the Dollar Tree also whenever I am done organizing these cupboards I'm actually going to show you underneath of my kitchen sink because that was already done and then underneath of my daughter's bathroom which is kind of like our guest bathroom it's the bathroom that everybody else uses and we store a few things under those sinks as well so I thought why not give you some inspiration to organize underneath of your sinks or vanities, um, no matter where they're at, if they're in your kitchen or your bathroom. I feel like they're kind of challenging and awkward spaces to organize. So I hope this inspires you. Let me know in the comments if you decide to do this as well, or if you've recently done this and found some really cool tips or tricks of how to organize around the piping and things underneath of your sink. This is going to be kind of an evening project. I'm losing daylight so if you see the lighting change throughout this video that's why today's sponsor is top cash back and you can use them to gain cash back from your purchases from places like Dollar Tree top cash back offers 100% of commission back because of this they can consistently feature higher rates than their competitors they have tons of stores you already shop at like Dollar Tree It's free to sign up and all you need is your email. Top Cashback offers over 4,000 retailers like Walmart, Amazon, and many more. And as a mom, I definitely shop at those all the time. To find a store and shop, you just put the store name into the search bar. Select Cashback Now. Then shop as normal and they keep track of everything for you. It's that simple. Dollar Tree has so many options when it comes to organization. And of course, the possibilities are endless of what you could organize. Under a sink like I'm doing, your kids toys, school supplies, there's so many things that they have bins that are just the perfect size for. The link in the description box will give you a $10 sign-on bonus and cash back when you spend $25 or more. Right, before we get started and before I show you the stuff I got from the Dollar Tree to do this, I'm going to just show you kind of how this all got thrown together right after we moved in. So up here, we don't really have a whole lot other than um, this is like the... Uh, kind of a medicine cabinet but we just keep a lot of odds and ends in there that long thing I actually keep my makeup in um, and yeah so that's pretty much organized I don't really need to do anything in there and then this little thing was something I put in here I don't know if I'm gonna keep it in here or whatnot I thought it would be cute with like plants sitting on it or something like that especially for spring so I think for the moment it's gonna stay there. So underneath of here, I had put a few bins and this is the main problem at the moment. Um, these all have lids and I just need stuff that's like open and that can store like bottles and dry shampoo, you know, things that um, are kind of need to be standing up. I'll show you the solution or at least what I think is gonna work um, of something I found at Dollar Tree for that kind of stuff. And then this is a little shelf thingy. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this in here or not. It'll depend on how the bins all fit that I got from Dollar Tree. And then there's no contact paper in here at all, so I'm gonna be putting some contact paper in as well. And then, so in here is basically like some personal care things. Um, down in here is all of my like curling irons and straighteners and stuff like that. And in here, I'm not even sure what's in those right now. And then this one, um, 
We actually keep our towels in here and everything's in the laundry right now. And then also here we keep like, you know, washcloths. There's extra cotton balls. That's the little thing I use to rinse the girls' hair out whenever I give them baths because um, they take baths in here. And then just like extra um, Q-tips, that kind of thing. So again, I feel like this is kind of an awkward shape and just doesn't make the most of this space. And again, it needs contact paper. So let me show you what I got to put in here. Here is everything I picked up. All of this, like I said, is from Dollar Tree. So this is the contact paper I got. I thought it was really pretty, um, just a clean look. And then I grabbed two of these. I grabbed four of these. I got six of these. And these are actually like, I think to store, they have cotton balls in the picture, but just to store, you know, smaller things. And then this is my random kind of idea to do a lot of like bottles or round type stuff is I'm thinking I'm gonna use these. Um, I think they'll work great. I'm hoping I can get three of them in towards the back of the um, cabinet. So we'll try it out. First of all, I'm gonna take everything out and then put the contact paper in and then we'll see how I can figure all of this out. I did keep the receipt in case I had extras and just didn't need stuff or I may end up keeping it and using it somewhere else in the house. The other side of the sink was a little bit more self-explanatory, but I thought I would kind of explain this side a little bit better. So these round bins are actually from the food section, but I thought they would work well just because a lot of sprays and hair products and things are in a round container. So I just thought it would work good to store them. That one back there is empty, but I just wanted some extra space and something that was easy to take in and out. Like a lot of the containers that were in here had lids, which of course made it more difficult to just grab and go. And then over here, I have these clear containers. I thought they were really neat. They're stackable. The three that are behind them are actually empty at the moment, 
but um, I do feel like I could store extra makeup in them and be able to easily see what's in them. I only ended up using one of these and I actually had an extra one of those as well, but they're actually really handy and I want to pick up a few more. They're really great for all kinds of things like crayons and anything like that, but I just have some of my tanning stuff and then like some brushes and um, yeah, just a super convenient caddy with their little compartments. And then down here I just have all of my hot tools and um, yeah, I think it's a little bit better than having something with a lid. I can easily wind up the cords and just put everything back in there. So I'm really happy with how this looks and I want to go ahead and show you guys some of my other cabinets underneath of my sinks. Alright, this is in our guest bathroom slash my daughter's bathroom. So we have the trash can underneath of the sink and also a little caddy there. I put toilet paper in, I just didn't refill it and wipes. And then I also have that wooden caddy. That's something that my grandfather made and I rotate it through my house and use it for different things. But right now it's holding the girl's hair supplies and toothbrushes. Under the kitchen sink is definitely a very highly used area for sure. So to save on some drawer space in my kitchen, I actually put my towels and dishcloths down here. And I also put, of course, the normal things, extra soap, a bottle brush, um, the sink stoppers, and then different sprays that I'm currently using. I keep a majority of those things in my laundry room, but just the ones that I can easily grab, I keep under the sink as well as my dishwasher soap and extra sponges. I hope this gave you guys a ton of inspiration. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Which under sink area in your house needs cleaned up the most? Let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in my next video.